what I left out of the Austin Bomber story is that people had been stalking me at this bar specifically, and or at least I thought so. And people do stalk us. Um, someone shot a bullet past my dad's head once. Um, and random people, when a random person tries to fight you at a movie theater because you're sitting in front of them and they start kicking your chair, it's like, really? Um, so um, I, I'm just saying that sort of thing happens because, like I said, we are part of the criminal organization that makes people very angry. Um, and that's why I think this guy, this Austin Bomber guy, was stalking us. And he was ranting about Austin specifically. And then next thing you know, you catch him, right? And that's why I think... And then, I, and then this guy gets blown up, and then that made me super afraid. And that's what made me more afraid of than anything, because I was like, dude, they can just kill me and, and cover up, but, I mean, whatever. Because I know that's happened to other people, and that's, I think that's why I was so PTSD for a while there. Um, but... Let's face it, I, I think I was worse before because I, I was I was messed up and then I got better and then I got messed up again and now I'm getting better again but I'm still super afraid. But I don't know. I, I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Um, it's just like, it, that's, that's the thing about the coronavirus. There's nothing I can do about it. So all I can do is kind of control my own situation and um, I mean, just try to be optimistic. 